So this isn't Liz's pet tricks. Sorry. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. But we do. The next best thing. It, I mean, that's all we have here <laughs> is the next best thing next to Liz's pet tricks. But we do want to highlight a goat farm in western Washington. Lost Peacock Creamery is a family owned farm in Olympia and they produce goat milk. So here to learn more about it. Yeah, Abby Cody live for us right now at the farm. Abby, you've been there all morning. You, you saw the goats, you hung out with them. And now are we going to taste test some cheese? Yes, I wish there could be the smell of vision thing right now, right? We're in the packing room. We showed you the milking process earlier. We also the goats out in their natural habitat working on some pesticide free weed control. And now we're inside the packing room. Now comes the favorite part of the morning. We're going to do a little cheese taste testing here. And for that, I want to bring in Matthew Toller. You're the head cheese maker here. Also head of uh, human goat relations, Matthew. Yes. yes. Great to be with you. Thank you. Walk us through some of these cheeses here. Let's go step by step. Okay. So the main coup de gras of our cheese world is regular chev. This is the bread and butter of our company. Fantastic. So we got chev here that we whip up, and we have it on spruce uh, tasting platters okay, for I'm getting our after lovely this. guests getting after here. This. Yeah, so that's the regular chev. That's just like mm. clean, that was really good. yummy, <laughs> a little bit more tangy than cream cheese, a lot less fat, so really healthy. This and, and what do you eat with this? What do you pair with this? So I love this one with on, on toast with jam, but it also mm -hmm. crumbles because of the texture of it, so it goes really good on salad. The texture is fantastic. The yeah, it goes anywhere you can spread cream cheese, you can spread this. I substitute it for sour cream, so if I'm making mm. like a Mexican dish, I always use my, my chef. My, my buddy makes a great cheesecake with chef too. Has like <laughs> I'm not mad about that idea. I, I can really <laughs> get behind that. Matthew, what's up next here? So then this is um, Thai garlic. This is garlic with Thai hot peppers. Wow, I'm all so about this. So we wanted to hit you with a little bit of garlic when you take a bite. Mm -hmm. In my Absolutely. opinion, garlic and That's chef great. Packs a punch is in the best, the way. best flavor combination. It's just a good way to deliver garlic to your mouth. So then this one's salt and pepper, which with um, smoke, it's, we actually smoke the salt and pepper and that's how we get that smoky salt and pepper flavor. <laughs> what is my life right now? I'm on live television eating cheese. <laughs> I think I've made it everybody. I don't think I yes. can go any higher than this. That's, I agree. As, as we get into the next part, um, why do you believe goat cheese is superior to other kind of cheeses? You know, you were telling me a little bit about that. Yeah, so Goat milk is superior to cow milk, in my opinion, for a lot of different reasons. Number one, people who have problems with cow milk don't tend to have problems with goat milk. And that's Digestion because, issues. Exactly. And that's because of the molecular makeup of goat milk is more, uh, it has less infl inflammatory markers than cow milk. And it just never gives me a problem. So if you have a problem where, like you eat a lot of pizza, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, whatever. A lot of dairy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ice cream. You get that kind of rumbly tummy. That doesn't happen with goats. So that's the main difference. And then it does have a different flavor profile, which really comes across in the cheese. All right. What's up next? This is fab. Yeah, so this one's Curiosity. This is an eight week aged cheese originally designed by Trappist monks in Eastern Europe. Okay. And All it's right. a very Look mild cheese. Look how cute cheese. she is, everyone. So yes. photogenic. This one's called Curiosity, by the way, which is named after the Mars mm. rover because it looks like the, the surface of that is like the color of Mars. So that's the idea. Wow, that's really lovely. What do you pair with this guy? Uh, we do a more flavorful wine. This is a mild kind of in between. Mm. So if you have like a nice Syrah to go with it, uh, that's not too dry, a little bit sweeter. That's what I recommend to go with this kind of uh, this kind of cheese. All right, and this smells amazing over here. Yeah, Walk so us this one. This one is halloumi. Halloumi is a Greek cheese that, and they, you can anywhere you travel in Europe, they sell halloumi on the street. It's a big time street food, hmm. but it's also there's like several different varieties of it in Greece, and it's made to cook with. So you start off with this really white white cheese and then it turns into more of a fried almost like a grilled chicken look and so this one gets Amazing. nice and soft when you cook it up so excited to try this guy um matthew this is really exciting also by the way i love that you're an er nurse because you got that scientific brain right yeah. that you're bringing yeah. to the table <laughs> so this is a lot of fun okay so liz china and brian on a scale of one to ten 
How jealous are you of me? <laughs> I think it's just a cheesy live I've shot, if you ask me. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. We went there. And I love it. But like <laughs> Abby, the, 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 morning, what is it? the cream rises to the top? Yeah. I love it. Love it. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Thanks, yeah. girl. Appreciate you. <laughs>